Hello everybody, my name is Bodas and welcome back to your daily episode of Finding Fortune on FIFA 13. Yesterday's two episodes both on 150 likes plus the first one over 200 likes have most received and both of them videos were the best ever Finding Fortunes on views and likes and everything. Just thank you so much for that and over 150 subscribers yesterday. That is just so brilliant, guys. Thank you so much for the support yesterday. It really got me motivated. And so I thought today, you know, another daily episode, because I said yesterday, if you get over 100 likes on the episode, I will give you another video today. But if this video gets over 120 likes by 6 p.m. today, you will get another bonus episode today. This is, I'm really pushing the boat here. I hope you guys don't mind me asking for the likes, because, you know, it just helps me so much yesterday. As I said earlier, the support yesterday and the feedback and everything I got yesterday was brilliant. So hopefully we can do it again today. But anyway, let's get into the episode. And if you know, last night trading was abysmal. The market crashed, the market went up, the market went down. Basically the A servers mucked up about three times and I got mixed up right in the middle of it pretty severely and I had a loss and this is like the first, I think I've ever even had a loss on a player yet and this is where I get a big big chunky loss and really I was gonna I was gonna be hitting 200k by the end of this episode but the loss and uh, even in the next episode it carries on because the next episode and today's episode is the same night so basically it's just gonna be carrying on and it's a really big mess basically I didn't realise because the players I'd bought really wasn't players that I'd been choosing that much and been buying a lot so I didn't really know the prices and I thought oh these players seem to and that's a good buy there and basically there just wasn't enough auctions on the market to sustain what the profit I was getting so people, oh, it's just messing up right about that. I'll explain it at the end. But anyway, we get this Oscar there, and as we was getting the Oscar, Ferdinand sold for 8.1k. I think we bought him for like 7k, I think. So that was like a 600 coin profit. But actually, Oscar bought for 6.2k in 433 in cam. Unfortunately, not converted to CM, but that would be like a 10k card if I was converted to CM. But 7.7k we can sell him for, um, returning at like a k and a bit profit, I think, on him. And we've got 160k with Kagawa and Wilshire selling on the still trade pile. Anyway, our next buy is actually this Johnson, and I think Johnson has actually taken over Daniel Agger to be our best buy of the series, because honestly, I think like a few episodes in a row now, we have got a Johnson cheap and sold him on for more. And again, this one is no different. 6.3k we can sell Johnson for in 433. We're actually going to get another Johnson for 4k in 442, and we can sell that one for about 4.8k. As you can see, the other one is 4.9k, but because the prices are lower, you can just scrunch that buy now um, difference differential and just try and get some more, squeeze some more profit out of your player, assuming that the price is lower. And like I said, Johnson is definitely being our best buy, and as you can see, one of the Johnsons has sold, and it was a 4 one and we're still waiting on the 4 3 one to sell, but we're going to go and get our next player, and it is going to be a Jubal CC for 4k in 4 one 2 um, CC and Bar's price are lowering gradually, and I can just kind of sense that it's going to be about 3k these guys are going to be settling at in the good formations, but of course they're like 1.5k probably, if you just want them normally in like a weird formation. But we can sell a Gibral on for 5.4k. Their prices had gone up, of course, because this is where this right here is where the market is crashing. As you can see, I pick up this Tiote, which I haven't traded that much with. 442 CDM for 3.5k. The next ones in line were at like 6k, but I actually forgot about him and just left him in my trade pile, which was a silly thing for me to do. So we went and picked up a CDM Parker for 442. And this one is another guy that I'd only traded with once, and it was a while back, so I really didn't know his price. So I thought 6.5k and selling him on for 7.7k was the usual price. And we'll see what happens next time. And 41212 Kabai had increased. I had known that was increased, but 4.9k. I think we're doing eventually make actually a profit off him because that was a genuinely good buy in the first place. But if this was um gen if this was a genuine market, I would have made a lot on Kabai because I think I put him up for 6.8k and the next ones in line were like 7.5k. But as these players were bought, so this is where the market just just blew up really and really really failed. So EA, I genuinely hate you for last night. <laughs> but anyway, Kaga was sold as we were just about to pull up Tiote. And here we go, Tiote, which I finally found. I was like, oh, I forgot about Tiote in my trade pile. Hopefully the market is okay now. And what I'm going to do here is just show you the screenshot. This is the end of the episode now, but I want to show you a screenshot of the markets. This was at about half seven, and, I, and usually there was about over one million, and it was ever decreasing. 700,000 auctions on the market. It just crippled me. That is when I realized I just came off I just came off the trade pile. I was like, oh god, what have I done? And then I realized that as soon as them as soon as that market comes back online, everyone is gonna be pumping their players out and trying to sell them. So the the market generally just drops and then it'll go back to normal. And if you are trading, this can be a hindrance and an advantage. The advantage is that if you're the one on the market, if you, I mean, if you're on Ultimate Team and there's not a lot of people on the market and not a lot of people on Ultimate Team because they're being kicked off, you can get some really good people on bids. Bin's method, the buy it now method, really won't be working that well. 
you got to just go on bids and just see what you can get. But I really didn't know this. And then I got kicked off Ultimate Team like 10 minutes after I realised. So I couldn't pick up anything. And basically, it was just a huge disadvantage for me. And I think for a lot of people, this Twitter went blow, blew up again saying, Oh my god, Ultimate Team is down again. And you know what? It's no surprise because it's EA in general. But anyway, that is the end of this episode. A bit of a longer one again today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like. Over 130 for another episode today. And I will see you on the time, guys. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.